guys welcome to my channel it is me busaya once again thank you so much for stopping by today so i got a lot of love on one of my videos the an old video though and when i went to dumasa and i took you guys shopping and so i decided to replicate the same thing but this time i'm going to machine market i'm going to show you what 10,000 naira can buy currently in lagos nigeria while well, the economy is really harsh and um, things are expensive but let's see you know 10,000 naira you know, used to buy a lot of things back in those days it's a big money but now i can't say the same but we are going to do this experiment let's see what's how much foodstuffs can 10,000 naira buy so come along with me if you have not subscribed to my channel do so now and please wait to the end of the video i'm going to be showing you all the things i got and it's really going to be an interesting one trust me <laughs> let's go <laughs> So people let me start by asking what's the first thing you buy when you get to the market mine is tomatoes and just get my pepper mix because nigerian homes there is no market day you are not going to make stew right so yeah i'm pricing tomatoes pepper uh, atarodo and um shampo <laughs> Have you guys noticed how onions is now expensive? Like back in the days, I used to buy 500 naira onions and it last me for a month. But now it's literally gold. So yeah, I was, you know, pricing onions because what's the tomato mix without onions? You know, that's the secret. Always put onions, blend it. I know some people don't like onions, they are going to come for me. <laughs> So I decided to show you guys the typical um, how to blend the pepper in the market. So this is the typical setting. Yes, I know it's not the best of hygienic environment, but this is what we have to make do, especially in the typical, you know, market. At this point i have to say that i really am not a fan of buying meat in the market like can they have a uniform price the process of pricing the meat and all is just too stressful i rather buy fish where they ask, have like a you know common price not so fixed but at least there's a standard price you will know you should get uh, your panla or your kote but these meat sellers are big oh voila I 
people of God, I usually put those prawns in my vegetables. Like I love them so so much. It always gives my a four year old one exotic look and taste. What about you? Is this something you use? Oh yeah, let me know. Comment in the comment section. Which other one? Five hundred. Which one be five hundred? But which one be alone? Six hundred per day. Three day go be how much? One eight. You know if we do you one five. Now, the last price because uh, I bring them. Sorry. Hey guys, so I'm back from Mushi Market. You can see the difference. You cannot go to Mushi and come back the same way. See, I'm sweating. So it's time for the review. Pa, 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 pa. Let's see. Why well, must say that I'm disappointed? 10,000 naira cannot buy anything tangible in Nigeria. Wow, I struggled. So well, let's let's see. Let's see how much I spent. Okay. So first of all, we have this meat that I bought. So this total meat is 3,500 naira. Hmm. Was this a good bargain? I really don't like pricing meat because I don't know, it doesn't have a fixed price and I always feel like they can cheat me. But I think this is okay, 35, hmm. considering the regime we are right now. This is 500 naira or more. The two big ones are 200 naira, right? The small one is 100 naira. Making a total of 500 naira. 
Now, I think this crayfish was a good bargain. Uh, I've not put it into the plate, sorry about that. But this is 1,000 Naira. She first said 1,5. When I was now skeptical, and I said, ah, why now? Then she now said, okay, you can pay 1,000. Imagine from 1,5, I finally got it for 1,000 Naira. That's one thing about Nigeria market. You always have to price, don't forget. Always have to price it. We have this two pair of a way do i don't know what a way do is in english if you know kindly comment but this is a way do for eating swallow and this is um 100 naira per one so this two is 200 naira guys i bought this three pair of ejakika for 600 naira they are quite big so that's why it's just three i could get for that amount then this um onions i've used two out of it but five is um 200 naira i i guess yes 200 naira for five pieces and it's a pretty good bargain not that expensive this is our grinded pepper mix the um vegetable itself i bought tomato for 700 naira i bought rodo 200 and I bought um, the Kali Tata shave for 100 Naira. Grinding is 150 Naira. So this is 1,150 you're looking at. <laughs> Where are we going? So which way, Nigeria? We have the set. This is um, Panla. Panla, I want you to make a goosey soup. And this Panla is 1,000 Naira. The way you are looking at it is 1,000 Naira. Then I put the curry, it was actually inside the same liner as the thyme. I put this into this container. I'm also going to pour the thyme. Um, but that is, I think, 600 naira. So that was 1,242 of them. Alright, guys. So this is a, a wow loan. One dirica is 600 naira. So two diricas make 1,002. And uh, this is grounded. And we'll see, I think it's melon in English. This is hand picked. There's the machine picked. The hand picked one is um, uh, 900 naira per cup. So this is um, 1008. Then we have the blended red pepper. And this is um, 6. Is it, am I correct? 6? No. This is 1002 per cup. Hey, Chineke. This is 1000 super cup for this small thing, 1000 soup. This is 1.8 and this is 1 for the volume. There you have it, guys. That's all I was able to buy. I'm going to do the calculation, and uh, it's definitely more than 10,000 naira. So, 10,000 naira cannot buy anything tangible for a family of four in Nigeria of today. That's a pity. If you like this video, kindly give it a thumbs up, kindly subscribe to my channel, share my videos. It helps with the algorithm. You are doing somebody out there a favor, especially me, a favor. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.